What's going on? How are you guys today? We're going to do a minimally inflammatory day of eating. I'm sure I've done something similar to this several months ago, and this is based off of me, you know, being carnivore for eight years, paleo, keto before that, all of my experimenting through my 15 years of dieting. This is what it has accumulated to so far. You guys saw last week I was doing a lot of pasta and bread with this really delicious artichoke sauce, but you know, as much as I like to come home, eat myself into a coma with pasta and pass out for a few hours, my sleep isn't that great. It's a lot of food and it helps me maintain my weight, but I switch back to something like this for a slightly better night's sleep and just to have more energy throughout the day. So someone in my family is having Cheerios, and I'm sure some of you guys have heard that uh, cereal was invented uh, so that children wouldn't have a sex drive. It would kind of like sterilize them because of the lack of nutrients. I am having steak and potatoes with some white beans, and this is an excellent, excellent dietary base. Just regular lean grass-fed beef. We have some white potatoes that I boiled earlier in some filtered water, plenty of salt, and I put some coconut oil on it just for more calories and flavor. The cannellini beans. I would like to make these myself, and I prefer cauliflower. Unfortunately, the cauliflower is so inconsistent, and I don't know if they spray stuff even on the organic cauliflower because sometimes it just tastes so horrible. Uh, these are just a lot more reliable of a source of fiber and variety in the meal. Just salt on everything, a little bit of pepper on the steak, coconut oil to cook everything with, and that's really going to be the whole meal. We'll wash it down with the delicious apple lemon water kefir. So for the steak, I'm just going to put plenty of pepper, every sprinkle of salt, and put that in the pan. And while it's in the pan, I'll hit the other side with pepper and some salt. The beans come in liquid, so I usually just strain them out, rinse a little water over them, and just a little bit of oil in the pan. And the beans do not have salt on them, so I put a hefty pinch of salt on the beans. We are warming up the beans while the steak is cooking. And I'm not going to warm up the potatoes. Again, I'll just have them at room temperature. I would say about two and a half potatoes and half a carton of beans per meal. This steak is so big, I'm just going to carve it first. And porterhouse is much better for the grill because the bone doesn't really allow you to get a nice caramelization in the pan. Still delicious though. For tonight, I'm gonna have some of the strip and the filet. Now this looks kind of plain and bland, but it really is delicious if you put a tiny bit of oil and salt on everything, and it's a great balance of nutrients. B vitamins, protein from the steak, very high quality, very bioavailable. Potatoes, very minimally inflammatory source of carbohydrates, high in potassium, which is actually a problem. And the beans have some trace minerals, but you know we're not consuming a crazy amount of them. And mainly fiber for that liver detox, for the gut motility. And the only issue with this meal is that high potassium content of the potatoes because meat is relatively high in potassium as well. So even if I put salt on the potatoes, I almost have to over salt them to want to eat them. And then I end up retaining a lot of water because of the potassium content. That's why I usually switch between different carbohydrate sources. And to wash it down, we have our slightly alcoholic apple lemon water kefir. Guys, this is so delicious. Absolutely crazy. Frankiestrangefoods.com. We have all different flavors of water kefir available. Apple lemon, ginger lime. Maybe I'll even come up with a third one, but I think that's plenty for now. Of course, you can get the porterhouse steak on frankiesfreemangemeat.com. And what's crazy to me is we ship this steak to your door for the same price that Whole Foods sells it at the store. Maybe that's why I'm not making any money. Now, as much as I like to blame what I'm eating for my lack of sleep sometimes, usually it's because I stopped taking the mastic gum, which we have on organsupplements.com. It's just an antimicrobial, and when you have liver damage, pancreatic damage, and your digestive system isn't functioning properly, H. pylori, which is a, a negative bacterium, can kind of proliferate, and for me, it's my main cause of insomnia. Mastic gum is the best antimicrobial for H. pylori, so when I take a small amount with each meal, 
it keeps it settled down. But if I miss it for a few days, not good. I've been trying to think of what this kefir reminds me of, and it's actually uh, lemon snapple, which was like my favorite drink when I was a kid. I would always go to the deli, get a lemon flavored snapple with a sandwich. Stuff was fucking poison though. I gotta update you guys on my supplement routine in the morning. And I also wanna show you what I eat at work, although it's nothing crazy. I guess eventually I'll have to try to do like a full day in my life, but I'm just too much of a pain to film everything. So that's really it guys. And I'll explain again why this is the least inflammatory meal. And if you're having any sort of health issues whatsoever, this is an incredibly safe bet. You have lean beef, which is pure nutrition, B vitamins, protein, no one's allergic to it. It's easy on the stomach. Maybe the cooking temperature varies depending on that. Potato, starch, concentrated carbohydrate, feeds your gut bacteria. Beans, similar thing, more gut motility. The fiber is definitely needed, different mineral profile. Overall, those three foods are an excellent, excellent, excellent combination that are not gonna irritate your stomach that I haven't heard anyone has problems with. And the water kefir is just padding that B vitamin content, but mainly allowing you to digest and break down the carbohydrates if your liver isn't functioning, if your pancreas isn't functioning, if you have you know digestive system damage from past diets or lifestyle, whatever it may be, this stuff is the lifesaver. There's a chance that you eat this food and you feel good, but this stuff is like, it takes it from like a C or a D to an A plus. The water kefir really does make that much of a difference outside of the small percentage of people that already have a healthy microbiome that aren't too affected by our modern environments that are very high in Wi-Fi EMF radiation that just completely messes up your gut bacteria. But I've talked about that in the past. I'm not going to go too much into it. Now, usually I'll have some banana baby food that you guys saw as dessert. I might do that later. I might not just to see if it affects my sleep, but I'm definitely not having it right now because I'm kind of full, which is nice because usually I'll eat like twice the volume of pasta and bread and it's just so palatable. I just kind of go crazy with it. But thank you guys for joining me today. You can check out frank-stefano.com for all of my businesses. Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I'll try to do a better rundown of what products I'm still using every day for you guys, but it really is all over the place. Like I use the, the magnesium oil spray. I Now I am taking like ascorbic acid in the morning. I'll have different mineral supplements throughout the week. I need to remember to start taking the K2 again, as well as like the, the beef testicles for testosterone. It's just, um, just a lot going on right now and I kind of lose focus and that results in me not feeling so good. So then I got to get back on track. But thanks again for joining me guys frank-stefano.com. You can see all of that interesting stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.